Hi guys, this is Mr. LaShawn. I am reading tonight a story about Piper the Hyper Mouse. It is called Nighttime is Just Daytime with Your Eyes Closed by Mark Lowry. Down through the valley and just past the trees where the red robins ride on a warm summer breeze and the lilacs and lilies bloom under blue skies is a place full of adventure and sweet lullabies. In a small, tiny village, much like your own, lives Piper the Mouse in Piper's Mouse Home. And the name of the town, it is none other than Cheddar. No mouse could have ever chosen a name any better. Well, Piper was hyper, as everyone knows. Piper was hyper from his head to his toes. Even when moonlight and stars came to play, and he'd lie down at the end of the day. Energy oozed from his every pore, with a mind full of questions and daydreams and more. His head would be still, but oh, how his mind would dance through the galaxies, one at a time. Sleeping was fine for the rest of his kin. He'd hear Grandpa snore from his chair in the den. His brothers and sisters, they needed their rest. And his mom always said, sleep can rest you the best. But Piper would toss, he'd yawn and he'd squirm. He'd wiggle and jiggle like a little brown worm till his sheets and knots and his pillow was somewhere down south by his socks. So Papa told Piper of a land far away where little mice play in, their, in the heat of the day. Far around the world, clear out of sight, the sun is still shining while there is still night. I know how you little mouse like to play, so I invented a way to turn night into day. Piper sat up in bed with his eyes wide open. This was the very thing for which he'd been hoping. Piper told Papa how great that would be. I could jump over rivers or climb up a tree. If I could go there, wouldn't that be the best? Then all of you could get plenty of rest. I'm speaking of dreamland, you don't want to miss it, for marvelous adventures await all who visit. You can fly over mountains, or breathe under sea, why you can eat 50 burgers at once if you please. His mind began filling with possible dreams, his head was now spinning with adventurous schemes, and before very long, before Piper knew it, he fell fast asleep, but there wasn't much to it. He dreamed a deliciously colorful dream. Red lollipop treetops and blueberry streams. Houses of chocolate with frosting on top, whose chimneys are stuffed with banana gumdrops. The air smelled like hot buttered cinnamon toast, and the birds sang sweet songs as they winged toward the coast. The grass at the playground was purple, not green, and the pond at the park had a bubble machine. Then Piper decided he wanted to fly, so he stretched out his arms and aimed toward the sky. With a jump and a kick, old Piper was soaring. This is fun, he exclaimed, and not a bit boring. He flew past his schoolyard and over his friends. He waved to his teacher as he swooped by again. He decided to fly with his tail all curled. He decided to fly clear around the world. Past islands, past valleys, past mountains and streams, 
He flew past Hawaii. What a wonderful dream. With the ocean below him, he continued his flight. He flew out of nighttime right into daylight. He landed in China. It seemed he'd been hurled as quick as a blink clear around the world. Papa was right. The sun was still shining. He was startled to hear a mouse who was whining. I don't want a nap, the little mouse said. I know you don't, son, but it's time for bed. We have this time so our bodies can grow and our minds can remember the things we should know. Piper wanted to tell him we all need our rest and how Mama had said, sleep can rest you the best. But his eyelids got heavy and he nodded his head and his hyper heart wished he was home in his bed. The sunlight had crept through a hole in the tree. He opened one eye, waiting to see. Was he still in the air? Was he under his covers? Or was he in China? Or in South Carolina? But Piper was still at home in his bed, and somehow his nightcap was still on his head. And morning had come, another new day, his family was up. He had something to say. I've spent the night dreaming such wonderful dreams. I felt just like playing even better, it seems. I have to admit it, Papa, you're right. Dreams are a fun way to get through the night. And that is Piper the Hyper Mouse. Nighttime is just daytime with your eyes closed by Mark Lowry. Thank you.